Compared to using normal landline phones or a regular mobile phone call, speaking online can offer a lot of extra security. Software also offers a lot of extra features, such as the ability to do video conference calls. However, these services also have a number of security risks. These risks include, some services allow for built-in monitoring. This means the people who make the software can monitor your conversations and chats. Skype, now owned by Microsoft, is one example of this. Some products have increased end-to-end -end communication encryption. This means that some adversaries may not be able to intercept your conversation. Instead, they may try to get around this problem by installing malware on your device and recording what you are saying through your microphone. Connecting to others by adding contacts in services such as Skype means that they are connected to us by something called metadata. Some services share your chat conversations across multiple devices, so you need to be careful to delete your conversations everywhere. Another risk is fake versions of popular communication tools such as Skype, which already have malware inside. Ways to increase your security include keep separate accounts for personal and activist activities, prevent malware from getting onto devices, delete chat and call history regularly, change passwords regularly. On smartphones, use Signal app for secure communications. Beware of phishing and social engineering attempts spread by unknown contacts. Use secure alternatives to Skype, such as Jitsi Meet.